Okay guys, so I was just sitting here and um, excuse my sweatshirt, it looks pretty grimy, but anyway, um, I look a mess, my hair is in a messy bun or whatever, but I was just thinking, you know, sometimes we get really, really hard on ourselves um, when we think about our goals and things of that sort. Um, um, I'm a very, very, very ambitious person, but I'm a Libra, so I'm also very balanced. Um, I don't overdo one thing or the other, but I'm very ambitious, and whatever I put my mind to do, whatever I want to do, I do it. Um, no issues. Um, I'm very determined, and even though, you know, they like to say Libras are indecisive, we're indecisive about things we're not sure about. Um... And usually that makes us not make a decision. But we're very decisive about things that we want and things that we want to accomplish, our goals. Um, when it comes to work ethic and goals, there's no indecisiveness there with Libras. None whatsoever. Um, so saying all that to say this, um, it's challenging to keep bringing yourself back to thinking positively about what you have accomplished and patting yourself on the back about what you have accomplished because oftentimes with ambitious people it's never enough for us um we can be doing great things people could see us doing great things and people could be you know really just not saying we need outside validation because we don't um but you know people could be like oh my gosh you're doing this you're doing that you're here you're there you're you're at this point in your life and all of this and to us is we're just thinking about all the goals we haven't accomplished yet so I want all of us all of us ambitious people especially women um, that we all women being the fact that we never feel like we're doing enough or we're doing all that we can do give yourself grace and anytime that you feel like you know oh you know I still got this to do and that to do and I still want to reach this goal and that goal stop slow down take the time to think about all the things that you have done all the things that you had have, have accomplished um, even if that means writing them down because writing things down is so important journaling writing down goals and all that all of that well it also works for when you need to find it also works when you're trying to find grace for yourself uh, because it can make you anxious if you're constantly thinking of the goal the next goal you're you want to meet um, or the next goal that or the goal that you haven't met yet at your timeline it can make you very anxious and it can make you live in the future and focus on what's ahead versus what's in the now and so a lot of times that takes writing it down if you can't sit within yourself and think about it and really focus on and name in your mind all the things you have accomplished then writing it down and seeing it on paper really 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 helps um i'm a single mom i've been a single mom for years even when i was married i was a single mom um <laughs> Um, of course, all the healing, I, I fixed that type of situation, won't be in that situation again. But um, I kind of sometimes forget that I haven't had a partner. And even when I had a partner, they weren't partners. And that I've done a lot of things and accomplished a lot of things on my own. Like my four daughters graduating high school. My four daughters never being locked up, never being in trouble. My four daughters never being, you know, ended up prematurely pregnant. And even if they did, if that did happen, I mean, I would have been there for them and supported them. No judgment, you know, or anything like that. But, you know, I have two grandkids, but it's my daughter is married. The one that has the two grandkids, she has a husband, she has support. Um... All those accomplishments with your children and still having a close, close-knit relationship with your children and your grandchildren um, and them being able to come and talk to you about anything without judgment, that's an accomplishment. 
accomplishing being years of making over six figures um, years of making six figures and taking care of your kids on your own putting them in pre uh, and um, daycare on your own out of my own pocket um, from when they were little on up getting them through school and then you know still being in a position of where I can support them if they need it even though they've moved on to jobs and and trying to figure out their careers and things of that sort and um, still being able to have the things that I want on top of that, you know, being able to travel, being able when I want, being able to have nice things when I want, you know. So sometimes I have to sit back and really think about the things that I've accomplished by myself without a partner, without a husband, without with absolutely no financial support from anyone else but myself. And that's an accomplishment that's an accomplishment that i i should be proud of and that i am proud of um and my goals will come the ones that i haven't accomplished yet they will come just like all the other goals that i accomplished that i set for myself sometimes it's not always in the timeline that you think it should be but it's always right on time it's always right on time. The universe is always conspiring in my favor. The universe is always conspiring in my favor. And um, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to give everyone that's overachievers, that's ambitious women, you know, um, some encouragement today. You've done a lot. You're awesome. You're accomp you have accomplished a lot and you are accomplishing a lot and give yourself some grace. So um, hope y'all having a great Saturday.